Here with Dermot, Dermot O'Keefe at the PwC GAA GPA Player of the Month Awards for June. Congratulations, Dermot. Thanks very much. More importantly, I have to congratulate you on that head of hair. <laughs> How did you get it like that? Um, over the last while, Shane, I've been sponsored there by Head and Shoulders, which is really going well for me there. But uh, myself and Joe Hart, no, I'm only joking. <laughs> um, no, I get, uh, I get uh, the lads make fun of me there now regularly in the dressing room, all right. Uh, so I get it plenty. Um, yeah, it's just, it is. It is who, who has the better head of hair, though? You or Lee Mogg McGovern? Uh, Lee Mogg was after cutting her short there over, the, over the, the last little while there. Um, he'd still reckon that he's a fashion icon in the Wexford dressing room. Um, I don't know, Matt Johan would have something. Would he? Yeah, it's quite hard to say about that now. And uh, would he have a right to say something about that? As in, he thinks he's the man with the fashion? Yeah, Matt, uh, Matt is not afraid to back himself there now. He's. Uh, mm -hmm. He's, uh, he reckons he's up there with the best of them. So. Well, like when I saw Liam, Liam Ogg on a night out before, he was dressed up like an episode of That 70s <laughs> Show. Is, is that what Matt, Matt is at? That'll be regular enough for now, Liam Ogg, all right. Um, but uh, yeah, the boys, the healthy competition there mm. now between the two lads, in fairness. So. That's good to hear. No yeah. one getting complacent. No one getting complacent. All of us trying to outdo each other, so yeah. So talk to us about the hurling then as well. Being the Leinster champions must be great the last couple of weeks so far then. Yeah, it's been a super little time in Wexford. Um, the bridge of 15 year gap has been phenomenal for, for the Wexford public. Uh, the youngsters down there are really, uh, <laughs> they're really taking it in their stride. Their Wexford jersey's going around the place non-stop um, over the last week and a half. So it's been great for the great for, great mm, for county. Yeah, and for you, were you there in 2004 the last time you won Leinster? I was in Crow Park, I was in the Hogan stand. Uh, I was there the day that they beat Kilkenny in the semi-final and awfully in the final and there was two club mates of mine, Dara Ryan and Doc O'Connor um, that were playing in the full back line that day. So quality players. Yeah, it was a great day for Dara the club Ryan that day. Dara Ryan, one of the greats, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. I think he picked up an all-star that year with, uh, with Fitzy, with Damien Fitzhenry. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been a long time coming back, yeah. And did you always dream of hurling for Wexford? Oh, when I was a youngster, yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Um, I think look, a lot of lads that are playing now would have would have thought the same. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was look, it's great to represent your county. It's great to be part of something special and and have a chance to give back to kind of the, the public in Wexford. When I spoke with Owen Quigley maybe five years ago, he talked about how the players that he had a couple of years beforehand, before Liam Dunn took over, like that they're or sorry, before yeah, Liam Dunn took over, the players they weren't looking after themselves in the sense that the average body weight might be or body fat would have been like sixteen or seventeen percent went down maybe around 11 or 12 and that was like part of the thing just to get the players looking after themselves right can you reflect on the changes you've had in the five six seven years to get to this point yeah i think what like when lean came in in 2012 he brought a kind of a new crop of players that he had since he was under 16 you know paul morris sean murphy uh, myself matthew lee moog uh, mark fanning and these guys so um, he completely changed, along with the guys that were working with him, completely changed the kind of culture that was there. Mm. Um, kind of thought us a bit about what it actually meant to be playing as an intercounty player and how to act as an intercounty player. Um, having said that, like you know, you, you don't need anyone from you know the Corks or the Tips or anywhere to kind of teach us a love for the game. I think, you know, Owen and and Keith Rossiter and Roy Jacob, you know, they've passed the kind of ball on to us there now, mm. and, and it's not a case of will we, we have to kind of bring that on with us and, and pass it on to the next group that come forward. So your confidence is surely at the highest level it's ever been, because the last couple of years, especially since David Fitz come, has come in, you've beaten Tip, you've beaten Kilkenny, you've beaten pretty much everyone as well. So surely at this stage you feel like there's no team out there that are insurmountable for you. Yeah, I think, I think a couple of years back maybe we felt that we could compete with those teams, but it was probably maybe a, a flash in the pan once off mm. type, type thing. Um, now we kind of feel that we can do it consistently. Um, and over the last little while, I, th I think, you know, while we, while we drew against Galway and, and Dublin in the Leinster Championship and, and Kilkenny as well as that, uh, you know, it's great that we're able to, you know, be up at that mm. kind of level on a more consistent basis. And, like, tell me about David Fitz and your own personal relationship with him. Is he the sort of guy you chat with away from, from the hurling or is it just once in the dressing room that's your only interaction? No, like uh, you, you chat to him about everything and anything. To be honest with you, that's the type of character that he is. He wants his kind of, he wants to get to know his players. He wants his players to be happy, and he like you know he said often enough that uh, you know a happy player off the pitch will be a happy happy player on the pitch. So he's all about kind of making everyone you know be in the right frame of mind off the pitch, and then you bring that into the dressing room and, and it kind of. 
transfers onto the field. And what do you do to get away from hurling, like both work wise and social wise, to because it is such a bubble? Well, I'm a secondary school teacher. Yeah. Um, that doesn't help. The fact <laughs> that, that I'm off for the summer, um, so I like keeping like keeping busy. Yeah, so I'm correcting exams at the moment. Uh, I think that's important. Some of the other lads might you know enjoy that bit of free time, but I actually need to be actually doing something to to keep my mind yeah, off hurling yeah. and stuff. Um, but uh, no, look, it's um, same as anyone, you know, simple things, going around and hanging out with a few of the boys or whatever it is, that takes your mind off it pretty quick, like, you know, so. And looking forward to an All-Ireland semi-final against Tipper Leith. Yeah, so we have two and a half weeks now to kind of prepare, right, and get our heads in the right headspace and so on. So, um, I mean, there's been many a twist and turn in this championship as, as last weekend proved again, and um, whether it be Leash or whether it be Tip, you know, it's all about us kind of trying to get in the right frame of mind and, uh, and dealing with what comes next. And how buzzing are you for a big day like this? Because it's going to be a huge crowd in Croker. It's unfamiliar territory there now, to be honest with you. We mm. haven't, haven't been here before. I, I think I said after the Leinster final, there's been no player on that panel that has actually hurled in the month of August. And uh, now I know the All Ireland has come forward um, th for last year and this year. so. There's been no player that's actually played in honour in the semi-final, I don't think, uh, at senior level. So, um, yeah, look, it's a great opportunity in front of us, one that, one that we have to kind of take with both hands if we can and and see where it takes us. And a final topic then, who's your who's your favourite player all time? All time? Yeah. Whew. I'd have to stick close to home. I'd say, I'd say Darren Ryan now has been a massive yeah. inspiration. Yeah, yeah, he's my own club and stuff. Um, He's a uh, he's a workhorse. He was so difficult to get anything off. Um, he'd be definitely definitely one of the greatest players, or one of my favourite players of all time. Definitely. Um, I always like the style of Damien Fitzhenry, even though he's a goalkeeper. I love the style of him. Um, Broke my heart with Tip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, great for the stuff. Great for the stuff. But uh, yeah, no, there's um, yeah the two lads will be down up there anyhow. So. Cheers, Dermot. Congrats on the PWC GA GPA Player of the Month award. Thanks very much, Shane. So. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.